G'day all, it's Colin from PCTLC and thanks for joining me. Today we're going to be having a look at uh, adding an app image to Elementary 5 Juno. Um, yep, I've got this back on the laptop. I'm quite impressed with the way it's running at the moment. All problems from reported from Big Daddy Linux Live a little while ago have been fixed and it seems to be running pretty well. So I was just adding an app image and I thought it might benefit somebody to show uh, the procedure for adding an app image into elementary. So let's have a look. Um, I've downloaded the app image already and I've put it in a folder called .kdenlive, uh, which is where I normally put them. And we've got this one here. So first of all, I'll just show you how we do the um, executive uh, setting um, set as executable and run as a program set executable and run as program that's what it's called so this is how you do that in most ubuntu based distro so let's have a look at that so in most linux um, ubuntu based and distros when you are actually um, executing a file you will right click and go to properties and you'll go to permissions and you'll have this um, allow executing file as program. So you've got the little checkbox there. So that is um, on most Ubuntu based distros. Elementary is Ubuntu based, but elementary slightly differs in the way that you do that. So let's have a look at that. So now in elementary, uh, what we do here is uh, we right click this and go to properties. Now you'll see that um, in the permissions, it's a slightly different scenario. So if we was to um, just have a quick look at this website here, problem solving uh, tips and tricks, sorry, this one here how to set a file as not executable and then you can set it as executable. So what you can do in this scenario is you could, um, what I've done there is I've gone to, um, let's just do that. We shall change directory on that. So change directory and the little, I think it's called tilde sign or something. That means your home directory or you could uh, go home, press the tab key, colon, press the tab key, and you could go dot k in live like that. That's the same thing as the blue one above. The blue one above just means instead of putting home colon, that little tilde sign means all that. And then it's just forward slash dot k in live. So either way, whichever way you feel comfortable doing that, Let's list that out. Now you've got the Kdn Live app image there. So what you could do is you could chmod, uh, I think it's plus x, and um, that will make that executable. So if we have a look at, here we've got uh, 664. So we close that. And then we go back to here and we go um, and we enter that. Um, yeah, well, it helps if I, let's try that again. Chmod uh, plus X and uh, put the app image name would probably help. <laughs> uh, Canon Live dash 18 and tab key again, app image, and then we go enter. Now, if we have a look at the permissions now on that, it was 664, it's now 775. So that's the way to do it in the terminal. Now, um, also, if we was to do chmod again, minus x and kdn live dash 18 and tab, tab key to autocomplete, 
undo that. Um, let's close that and then we open it back up again. Now instead of 775, it's back to 664, which is what it was. Now, um, that's the way to do it in the terminal. The other way to do it is we can make um, read, write, and executable for the owner, which is me. Read, write, and executable for the group, and write and exec executable for everyone. Um, now, probably for the group, I'm writing, I'm not sure you really need, so it could be 755. So that's probably the, the correct way of doing it. Um, so we can close that out and that's now executable. So if we click on that, that should open. And there you go. So if it was a non-executable file, now let's do that. Let's make put it back to, so read, write, and executable, take that away. Read and executable, take that away, and executable there for the, everyone, take that away. Well, actually, that one was uh, one of them, 664 it was, wasn't it? Okay, I'll, maybe I'll leave that as a write then. So let's close that, and let's attempt to open that. And you'll see that, um, you'll see that, here, there's no applications found to open it because it's not executable. That's the error you will get. So let's go back to properties and permissions. So we want to make that executable, executable for everyone, and executable for everyone. Uh, that's for the group, the owner, and everyone. Close that. Open that. And now it opens. So that's all good, but the, the thing I've noticed with elementary is it doesn't actually ask you if you want to add it to the dot desktop, which will put it in your menu. So it hasn't asked me that question, which means it hasn't put it in here. So sound and video, it's not to be found. It's not to be found anywhere here. So what you can do there is you can go to your App Center do a search for menu libre, menu editor, and I've already installed that. We'll just say free and click on free and install it. And um, I downloaded this icon from the internet, from a Google Images search. Um, found that PNGs work the best. And then what we do with that is we open up our menu Libre. So open in the menu without clicking the top left hand corner is holding the super key and the space bar will open that by default in elementary five. So we look for menu Libre, menu editor. There's a couple of errors there. I'm not fussed about that. So we go to open that up that's what we have in sound and video so let's click on sound and video and let's add um, add a launcher which is what we're going to do now the new launcher we will call it KDN Live uh, we'll give it a small description um, let's call it a powerful Linux video editor let's put our own little spiel on that sounds good and the command will be wherever that um, app image was so for me that was at home Kaden live that's where i decided to put it and that's the app image click ok on that that's the command and then the icon we shall browse icons sorry browse files sorry that one there Go to home, code in live, and I've got that PNG there. Click on OK. And we save that, save launcher. And now we should have a code in live, I think it'll be in there. There it is there. Click on that. And code in live opens. So that's your code in live done. 
So that's the app image anyway, and that was the latest one, which is uh, now Kdn Live. Uh, which one was that one? App image 18.12.1. Now this one here just tells you the breakdown on how all that works. Um, I'll leave, um, re uh, even though this uh, website was how to set it as not executable, um, uh, regardless of the heading, it has all the answers here on how that works in the terminal um, and the numbers you would set it for. Um, read by owner is 400 and then write by owner is 200 and ex execute by owner is 100, so that adds up to 700. That's where you get your first number of 700. And then the next lot is the group. So the group, read by the group is 40. Write by the group is 20, there's 60. And if you want it, the group to be able to execute it, that's 10, that's, that's 70. So that's seven seven, and then if you go um, read by anybody, uh, what is it? Read by anybody, write by anybody, execute by anybody. That's four six seven. So seven 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 gives you everything. So, and when you look at um, the properties on this regarding all that, um, we got 775. 755, I believe, is good enough as well. So if you was to, um, let's see, I've got read and write by the group, which is the second lot. If I was to take the write, write, from the group out, then you got 755. So it's not right by the group, so that would be, um, if it's read by the group is 40, it's not right by the group. There's no right by the group, and but you can execute by the group, that's 10, so that's 50, right? So that's how that works out. So um, it's, um, a little bit confusing to start with, but um, the more you sort of do it, the easier it becomes. It's like anything, I suppose. So that is adding an app, in, app image to Elementary Juno 5. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you, hope you found it informative, and thank you for watching.